what's up guys this is the road from an i am back to bring you to the next episode of my empire total war let's play as grand columbia and in this episode uh, we are defending uh, amadnagar from a mughal uh, maratha attack sorry our attack on india is going pre going pretty well and i think having these sort of actions behind their lines uh, is really beneficial to us you got lots of cavalry lots of melee infantry you have to be careful that the the true enemy strength will come from a different direction from the uh, the direction we're actually being attacked from. So let's get ready. We will. We don't. All of our defenses are intact, so that's okay. We're effectively going to assume for a 360 degree de defense until the main vector of enemy attack becomes clear. The enemy that's attacking us right now does not have any artillery. It's the reinforcing armies that do have artillery and it will be them that may cause uh the breaches to be made so let's get ready hopefully we might have some stakes yeah we do nice okay so just chiefly put a couple of units few units just defending this direction towards where the enemy are coming from then we'll deploy them particular in, in a wood we have we have hole that's really good so let's not go crazy we need to Deploy intelligently. So you'll be enough to cover that breach. Let's kind of assume that we might get breaches occurring in other places. Although, do we just consider that area to be kind of a lost cause and go right actually we're gonna we're gonna build our defenses further back and say right here's what we're gonna do you probably have to be back here somewhere Let's put one there. Something like that. How it says it's going to be just in the middle, firing in all directions. The rest of the foot artillery just hold. Yeah, they are coming in from back over there. But Marines inside the armory. Hold. So I want you to face that direction, but not to worry. Get over here. But yeah, there's the main... There's the current known attack. So let's focus our quick line on trying to get rid of them. Coming in with their Pindari horsemen. The Royal Cavalry Guards are running somewhere else, but there are no other breaches. Oh, they've changed their mind. Cannons are coming in. Yeah, 
Okay, let's get this. Oh no, I've accidentally clicked off the next monitor. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Whoops. Got a little bit too keen. Okay. Okay, you men go over towards the gate because you're not going to be needed where you are. Okay, there we go. Get them just to start opening up on the breach. You don't have to worry about the Royal Indian Cavalry Guards coming in. Although I may well deploy like this. You guys actually step back a little bit because uh, oh, they're broken anyway. How about just clear these guys out then we can redeploy all these forces to face the other direction. Still, that's one enemy cavalry unit destroyed. The gun, enemy, enemy guns are firing now, so they're going to be. Oh, if they're not bugged, if they're bugged, that's super. More good quick line. Yes. Shattered. Walk, wavering, come on, break, damn you. Just broken. Now they're shattered, great. There we go, more enemy. They're trying to knock down some of these walls here. So you can push troops up as a add a bit of extra cover. Native auxiliary here. They go. They want to kill the 153rd desperately. Just broken. I'm gonna keep my howitzers shooting at them just to see if I can shatter them. Just broken. Because of that number, they could well come back. There goes another unit of cavalry. Native auxiliary are firing away into the centre. Here comes Hindu musketeers. Let's focus the artillery on them specifically. Might be the time to start dropping danger close quick climb on the ground. Don't worry about the uh, cavalry. This looks very scary, but it's actually completely harmless. Because we have lots of these. Oh, they, 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 Shot on my gun crews. Yeah, look, these stakes mean that none of this cavalry can get through this gap. No, nope. you man, get back. Danger close, quick climb. Yes. In you come. Excellent. 
they don't know what to do. Their initial cavalry charge that looked so impressive. See, even if they demolish these sections of the walls, the cavalry sticks here will still provide an element of cover. Just attack ground with your canister shot again. Kills. Okay, there's four of you guys up behind as cover. More quick line. Howitzers start engaging troops that are actually running in now. Because that's a lot of dead cavalry. Go on, native musketmen. Make ready and fire. Although their guns are, are doing a number on us. Dari horsemen fancy their luck again. Popping off shots. I still might keep them, keep my howitzers attacking, dropping quicklime on the breach. That's usually, it is the best way to do it. Because you know they're going to be concentrated in that area. And you know that a damn sight more of them are going to be concentrated in that, in that area than any one unit can probably be. Okay, they're about to make their next breach. Bring up the second infantry unit. Bring up a second infantry unit and a second gun unit. Oh no, they're aiming at... No, my musketeers! Okay, they've made their breaches. Yeah, bring a second gun team up. You focus on the one on the right. You left. You focus on the one on the right. They, they're probably going to go for this building. But it's full of marines. So that will be a reasonable trade. Let's bring up our Marines in reinforcement. Yeah, they're broken. Okay, let's maybe focus on dropping it on these two gaps. It might not be possible. It might collide with the armory. Now we can get some hits in there. 
12%. Need to get ready to evacuate that armory if needs be. If I had skirmishes up here, it'd be perfect. Just blasting down on top. Canister kind of shot there. They wouldn't be able to strictly speaking fire, but if they do attack, they'll they'll um, catch them as they run around. We might want to make a second, another breach. Hits. Couple of break, couple of breaking units. Twenty percent, twenty-eight percent for the armory, or for half of the armory. Sending in the light infantry. The canister shot doesn't do damage to the buildings. Hello, dervishes. Protecting the gatehouse. Send the light cavalry out to go and attack the artillery. Dervishes coming in. Engage these traps outside. Yeah, he didn't even have a chance to get in. Excellent. Go get the enemy guns. How it says, hit those dervishes. They go, they're running after me, but they got nothing. Oh, they got Pindari horsemen. They could do it. But maybe not fast enough. Might even be able to beat them in a melee combat as well. Maybe. So then I'll go after these guns. There we go. Quick line dealt with the dervishes. Although they are only broken, they're not shattered. Come on, run. Don't let them catch you. Don't let them... Don't let them bog you down and attack you with dervishes. I'll happily let you run, just knock out these gunners. Yeah, I suppose I better keep you around there actually. Another unit of dervishes, let's retarget. The artillery.
Pack them down. Five gunners, there we go. You know, engage the Delhi horsemen. Actually, you might just try and run in. Try run home. You are light cavalry. Some of you are stuck in the wall, that's super. to be clever about this if you want them to run in the breach we want them to run in we might have to go in that way too so put artillery cease fire You guys are stuck trying to get up on top of the wall. That's great. There you go. Run towards the guns. Run towards the guns over the stakes. So hopefully the Pindari horsemen chase after us exactly in the same way. Because we can cross our stakes. That's what I wanted. I wanted you guys to do something like that. But instead you're just stuck. Excellent. So I think now it's a case of I know oh you keep sorry one of you keep attacking that armed peasantry. The other might actually switch to round shot and keep attacking the general's bodyguard because these guys aren't going to make it. They're both out for the count, I suppose. Uh, better off quick climbing the infantry just to make sure they're gone. Then mass effects against the. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got up on top of the wall, but not enough to do anything with it. Now the dervishes want to try. Let's get you guys up there. Shattered from the double quick climb effect. Twist to round shot, attack the German's bodyguard, a couple of shells and he will be on his way. Boom. Or I could send the unit of household cavalry out here. They will have the same effect. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. That's a really good win. Lots of enemies that have been slaughtered. Um, if we do get attacked again, those breaches may or may not still be there. But if they are, that's fine. We will just set, set our defensive line a bit further back. So if they... Yeah, if they tend to attack us, we'll just set our line further back and then we will just slaughter them with massed musketry inside the fort. The Ottoman Intern Haze looks like it's going to be quite speedy, reasonably speedy. We still have to push in Europe. 
but overall things are going quite well uh yeah it looks like the optimums are gonna uh you slow down the end turn phase so i'll see you guys in a second And we're back in action. The Savoyards have uh, retreated back to their city on Sicily. It's the only thing really that we have missed. Norway's, Norway's being Norway. Awesome. Right. Right, right, right. We've got a lot to be getting on with. Agent detected. We don't care. Do what you like. Uh, you've got Mysore well under control. You are depleted, so you have to stay where you are. You're in pretty good strength. You're still going to wait. You are in really good strength. You're probably going to attack this force here in Madras. Uh, we're going to push into enemy territory because they have pushed back into the centre of their empire en masse. We're going to advance. Uh, let's combine some of our infantry. Great, let's take these two units out, swap them for the East India Company Infantry. Ooh, and you. Excellent, you men replenish. I'm adding a guard, just keep recruiting like mad. Okay, construction report, Toronto. Upgrade the commercial port. Naples gets a new weaver's cottage. Great. Guatemala is getting new, more industry. New Spain. Okay, it's all just in upgrades in New Spain. Cool, I get you. Oh no, there's one more. Oh, and Dijon. There we go. Okay, back to the Americas. Okay, let's combine you with Spy. Oh. Superb. Okay, Veracruz, build a another sloop. You're fine where you are. I'm assuming you were going this way. Great workers riot in the Netherlands, but they've chilled out. Ooh, come on, and there we go. You're reinforcing Salvador Mendez. You're gonna take out. You're gonna deal with these little raiders. 125 men. Okay, infrastructure is being built. Let's build a trading port and let's garrison it. Okay, this general's bodyguards in fine fettle. Put Cologne under siege, but don't do anything about. I was going to say, don't do anything about it immediately. That reinforcing army is pretty vulnerable. Let's bring up this force to reinforce just in case you men advance towards the bridge but not onto it okay, this let's get better get the better roads coming workers on strike in Hyderabad not anymore they're not Just keep recruiting loads of company infantry. Works on strike in Tripolitania. Bring three dragoons down there. Well, it's next turn. Worst come to worst, we can just 
I was about to say exempt them from tax, but we're already doing that. Right. So this force, siege Rome. The enemy will bring in reinforcements, but that is okay because we will have our own reinforcements. Naples will come into come into come into our sphere of influence soon. Floriano, Florencio, just siege Cagliari. We're not not massively rushed to take that city at the minute. Okay, you've got a couple of units of elite infantry. You've got space for seven more units. That's four. Let's do five, six. And then get, let's get one line infantry guards. Nice, then you'll be done. You're being recruiting troops. Get a blend of a shotgun unit. Let's get a general. Lucio Calabar. Two units of QRCF from Spain. Here at Lisbon. Go to Casador, get a sharpshooter. Get a good selection of infantry. And then three more guys. No, nope, one more than that. Let's get a West European mercenary unit. Great, that'll be another army fully. Hit it up. I can't remember where you were going now. Go back to Tangier. Maximino Navarro. Pretty bunch of colonial line plus. Two twenty fours, two howitzers. That's nine units. That's too too many. Something like that. Sweet. Okay, lots of things on the go here. Um, Hundred and seventy nine thousand. That's more than plenty to be getting on with in terms of funding some of this stuff. Uh, let's take. Actually, you're still recruiting, although you're going to have a pretty boring company army. Unless we get the army staff college, but that doesn't necessarily add anything particularly special. Uh, right, so what we want to do, let's go after Madras. With this garrison here in Madras, with this force here in our cult. That may well push them up towards Katak, but we've got troops there to defend Katak anyway, so that's not a huge problem. We're just going to keep chasing them northward. This will free up another port or to, uh, to help boost our tax base. Not that it needs to be boosted anymore, but it's really nice having more money than you can shake a stick at. How it says are going to fire in their current locations. Foot artillery is going to crawl up to the high ground. The infantry are going to advance with speed to push up ahead of the guns, but not too far, because the enemy is quite well equipped with heavy cavalry. So you want to go up like that. Howard says switch to round shot because you can't engage anything. Was up here could have been better. It's a bit exposed. You all fired. Now plenty of stuff is within range of quick climb. Troops just want to run up into position so they can drop into squares. Like here's a unit of Siladar Lancers. A 
von Limbe, ein Limbe. Limbe. One unit of horsemen gone. And you can start trying to pick off some of their enemy. Some of their. Uh, ooh, there's a unit of pol no, that polygons I'm getting taken out. Although it, attacking them did trigger them to attack. We're in a bit of a defilade, so then you can evade the volley of the 95th. The Marines will get you. Okay, let's throw this colonial line into that engagement as well. There goes the Slidar Lancers. Is switched around shots. So that's effectively removed my heavy cavalry from the field. But we're doing a lot of damage to the enemy. Polygar unit's a bit of a concern. I think they're going for the colonial lights, but my squares will protect them. Paint the square, you'll be fine. See, they're going down. They can't handle a decent square equipped with bayonets and a bit of mus musketry from next door. Artillery fire on this cavalry back here. Polygar gone. There we go. Enemy cavalry have been defeated as a fighting force. Artillery focus on the Cilidar Lancers. Come back in. Now they've gone again. Okay, let's see if that triggers them to attack. to the horsemen in close range. No, nope, that hasn't triggered them to attack. This cavalry unit is their general's bodyguard.
Well, their captain, anyway. They are shattered. Oligar coming in from the right up in the distance. Now they just have their infantry for company. Oh my foot artillery. Round shot that Poligar. Ninety-ninth preemptively form square. Oh yeah, that's the end. The end of their force. Put out the ceasefire. Howitzers can drop shells in. One volley from the squares sent them scurrying home. In time compression. Run. All my artillery. Open fire on that enemy unit. There we go. Bit of friendly fire. Nice. Good. Okay. One step. 490 men remaining. Ooh, you can actually chase them. You can actually reach them and kill them. Excellent. And then... This garrison force. Get in there and take them out. Okay, now things are easy. Things are a little bit safer. This force. No, not horse artillery. units of guards yeah this army go north as well give them let's give them a real tactical pickle how do they respond to us i mean right now this has been a real bloodbath around mysore and once we do that the road to goa is open and we got to get out there and reinforce hyderabad because they because they're coming Desert militia, like a reasonably elite army. Just keep recruiting men to sit outside. That's all you can do. Right, back in Europe. Um, we also need to go on the offensive here. Let's use Ciro Moreno, who's been with us a long time, to attack city of Rome with a couple of small forces in reinforcement but it likely will not matter I mean it may matter but likely will not let's get in there get set up get attacking take out the and well Usual plan, breach the walls, and we might not necessarily hang around to lure them out. We may just have to attack the city um, because we've got those reinforcements coming in. Ideally, we will secure the gates and force the enemy to enemy reinforcements to have to run around the city into the breaches or assault the city itself. I mean, that's 
really quite interesting from an artillery perspective to try and let my howitzers a bit closer. We need to be a lot. We need to be really careful about the enemy reinforcements. I mean, that could be really interesting just to fire down onto the city, but I don't want to deploy elsewhere. So I don't want the enemy to be surprised. I don't. I don't want the enemy to kind of go aha and deploy right behind us. So you're going to be you're going to deploy there with my objective of trying to attack the rear of the fort. And these men have the responsibility of attacking the fort head on. So let's give my colonial dragoons and my cuirassier over there. So friend on my howitzers up. Artillery focus on making oh yikes. I mean I say that, I do that rather, if I could. Push up. The enemy cavalry isn't anything. Oh, they are bouncing shells around us. I think there is reasonably safe. Those two will go there, you two. Well, ideally, I'd put one in here. Something like that. Take the line of your guards. It's going to be a bit of a bloodbath. Howitzers on limber. Open fire with quick line. Something like this. Charged in a lot of damage. Can the artillery? Do they have an angle on this side? More cavalry pushing in. Cassier, clone your dragoons, you've come in quite nicely. When they get in against cavalry, we'll just deploy into squares after we've fired our volleys.
Okay, good hit against the line of the guards there. Everyone in, everyone's in the square though, so those cuirassiers are not going to be here very long. Except for you, you've broken your square. Actually drop shells against this garrison, this guard engineer unit, because that's a real nice concentration of enemy troops. Shaken. Break your cards. Oh, big money. Big money. Good. One square again, because you managed to. Break the square. So we need to be aware there are two armies, two reinforcing armies coming in. More great kills, so many dead Austrians. We nearly made our breach. One more round will do it. thought so okay we've made our breaches these gunners now work on that section of the battlements quick climb also work on those guardsmen high up on the walls So not necessarily can kill them all, we just want them to run away. And because they've broken, they will immediately retreat and leave the battlefield. These guys might be a little bit too close. As soon as they come on. Devastating volleys right off the bat. <laughs> Lost a lot of men quite quick. Here come some fusiliers. They'll put up more of a bit more of a fight. Okay, my main assault force, as it were. Get you up into the fight. Actually, aim at that section over there if you can. Because they've actually got units equipped to deal with them. They're mostly missing the guards. 
And here goes the militia, in comes the unit of Jaeger. Very good infantry, but not when they're just penned in, in the corner, against rapid-firing line infantry. Another unit of Light Dragoons. Fusiliers being engaged at point-blank range. Brave effort. Okay, horse grenadier guards could provide a bit more of a complicating factor. If you could rout, that would be super. To let my <laughs> everyone reload to deal with those horse grenadier guards coming in. Try and engage with the infantry on the other section of the wall with our um, musketeers. Yep, they fired into the one of our units, but I think they're under fire. They're within range of a lot of our infantry now, so that's pretty good. General's bodyguards also under fire. I mean, in a pinch, I could have just dismounted my dragoons and, well, I'll get them over here. Just in case the general tries to get into the city. Ciro Moreno, get on top of the wall. Quick climb, start quick climbing in the center. Start to put men into positions to attack the breach. my light dragoons up here as well native or auxiliary hacking their way through the infantry guards although the artillery is doing work okay there's another unit coming in engineers Throw my pikemen in there as well. So I'm just circling that breach for now. This is our main effort. You guys are gonna have, are gonna be in a bit of a bad fix, but have at it. Engineers are gone. 51st Regiment are taking losses by accident. Soon that looks like that's going to be the end of their... Uh... Okay, if you're going to just shoot at me, I'm going to run away. Engaging the enemy armed 
citizenry that have just slipped out of the city. I know you don't want to, you want to maneuver to engage them. That's not ideal. This fort is now on the field. Yes, engage. We lost 50 men in one. It's immediately. Yeah. I think that might be all of their enemy reinforcements, but let's just give it a minute. Okay, let's push an infantry unit in. Let's get our light dragoons over here. They're climbing off the walls very nicely. Yeah, that looks like everybody. Let's try to secure that gatehouse as well. We'll lose this one. Let's see if we can claim the other. Enemy cavalry wants to push in. These men are going to take some time to get into position because they are walking. Cavalry is getting into position, but that will be a bad idea for them. Get a quick line to start work on the centre. Okay, you men secure that gatehouse. So my cavalry are in a better position to deal. They're in a position to push in right now. Pikemen, folks on the cavalry, auxiliary, folks on hacking out the rest of the infantry that's around here. Okay, hack open that militiaman then. Uh, line native infantry, get that line infantry guardsman, pikemen, get the heavy, get the household cavalry. Get the men in. Hold, these guys are going to stay here to hold the gate. Excellent. There comes horse grenadier guards. Howitzers cease fire. Come on, run in. Man the fire steps and start raining arrows down. Actually, no, get the heavy cavalry around the other side. The dragoons go after the enemy artillery. Grossier go after their hussars. My Dragoon's getting mobbed by the Swiss line. Bring my infantry over here to help out. Okay, this infantry needs to up to it. Okay, 
The gunners have abandoned their guns. They're going to join the fight at the front line. Attack the Hussars. There's a general around here somewhere. I'm not quite sure where he's hiding. Oh, he's in here somewhere. There we go, yeah, my dragoons finally succumbed to the Swiss line. Killed the enemy general. Okay, we've made a. There's, still, there's another enemy reinforcing. Oh no, that's not the reinforcing unit. It's something that's ran out from the city. Kill the Hussars. Give the infantry a blanket order to just to run straight in. Swiss, my, um, not my Swiss infantry, my, um, native auxiliary have finally broken. That's fair enough. Okay, you guys stop firing because I'm fairly sure it's the bow fire that's causing the problem here. Keep my dragoons on the wall. Grossier. Go after those shotgunners. Pikemen chipping away the horse grenadier guards. Mr. Moreno is going to risk an action against the auxiliary, the Swiss line infantry. Actually, no, that's a foolish proposal. There's only 20 seconds left. Why would I risk his life? Excellent, now my pikemen can work on the household cavalry. And here comes the buckets of line infantry. The Grenadier Guards have held this gatehouse impeccably. However, it was not enough. Nice. So Rome, the city itself is over there, I guess. This is the fort outside. We have taken Rome and dealt a significant blow against the enemies outside the city. Great. Cool, cool, cool. They've got a university we need to destroy. Let's get repairing. Mr. Moreno. Okay, get rid of the university. I mean, we will auto-resolve an attack on the reinforcements just to push them out of the territory. Doesn't mean we have to re-replenish. So you men can advance up the road. Let's get better roads built. Let's upgrade the head steam engine factory. Right now... Mr. Monino needs to... Can you, well, I don't mind if you intercept me. That's the plan. Bring some troops forward from... Oh, no, they really don't like us. What is six... Just about on the limit. Place empty from tax. Yeah, that chills you out. 
Great. Then we'll recruit more militia. And Sebastian Monino attack this Venetian force that's pushed out just a bit too far west. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of this Venetian force and more battles to the north against Austria. Cheers everyone. <laughs>